Mistral just released their Devstral 2 model, which is a SOTA coding model as per their benchmarks. And in this video, we are going to take a look at what Devstral 2 has to offer. And we are going to configure it in a factory Android CLI to work with some skills that will allow it to do better job in creating an UI and working with the project. So we're going to check all of this and see how well it does. And in here, if you are going to check their release, besides the Destral 2, they also released a CLI tool, Mistral Vibe CLI, that can be used with their model. This model is free to use for the month of December. And uh, after the free period, this model, it will not be that expensive. And in here you see that for the model that has the Devstral 2, which is the most powerful from their side, it is about uh, 40 cents for the input token for million and uh, two for output, two dollars for output per millions. And in case you want to use the Devstral Small 2, which is uh, a less smarter model, this is even cheaper, it's about 10 cents for input and 30 cents for output. So these are pretty competitive uh, prices and uh, you can use it for free in uh, KiloCode and Klein. And uh, yeah, you have a lot of good options. So I am really glad that Mistral released their new models and these models are also open so you can uh, host them on your own infrastructure if you decide to do that. And if you are going to check the benchmarks for this Destral 2, in here we are going to see that, for instance, you have the SU bench verified which is at 72.2 and uh, this is for the Destral 2. Destral small it's uh, behind but is not that far and in here you see that this supposed to be more powerful than the GLM 4.6 and uh, it's not that far behind the Cloud 4.5 Sonnet and the OpenAI, but these are just benchmarks and I want to test it and see how well it does. And besides that, we're going to see how skills can help us uh, do a better job when creating our projects. And in here, I have configured the CLI tool, the factory AI, to work with skills. So I've created a skill folder in here and I've added three skills. The problem with this model is the fact that it has training data up to February 2024. And if you tell it to work with Astro, it can maybe do a good job, but doesn't know the latest things in Astro. Also, it doesn't know about Tailwind CSS4. And with skills, I've created three skills, basically the Astro expert that it will just tell it how you can use the Astro framework. I have a front-end designer skill that will help it supposedly do a better job when creating uh, UIs. And I have the Tailwind 4 expert, which will tell it what are the latest modifications in Tailwind and how it needs to work with the Tailwind version 4 because it uh, doesn't have up-to-date information and to do this you just need to create a skill folder in the factory configuration so dot factory in here we have the skills that have created the folders with the skill md so we can uh, utilize these skills and in here i have the prompt that we're going to tell it to run so in the beginning i'll just tell it to go and use these skills because sometimes he may decide not to use these skills, but I want him to use these skills. So what skills will do? It will load the specification for that skill in the context of the model. And it will use the details in that skill to make the models monitor and know all the details that uh, are in there. And I think this is a better option than using MCPs because MCPs can load the context quite a lot and maybe you don't need all of the things in the MCP servers for the... And in here I have the prompt that I will just copy and in here I've created an Astro project and I have it created in Warp in here. And this is the Astro project. It's the Astro project with Tailwind installed and uh, nothing else. It's the basic 
structure that I am using for the project. And in here, I will just start drawing like this. And in here, I've configured Deathstral 2 from Mistral API because it's free. And I want him to go and do this uh, for us. So I will just paste the prompt in here and I will just hit enter. So it can start working with the skills, hopefully, and to create everything for us. And right now, I will let it work and see what uh, it will do. And in here, you see that it is creating the plan for us. I hope it is using the skills for this. Okay, so perfect. I'll use the skills you requested. So it supposedly went and uh, found the skills and it will start cooking the details for us. So it started first with the readme files that it created in here. And right now it created a to-do list that it will create the component, the hero section, services testimonials, call to action about service contact page SVGs and everything. And yeah, I mean, uh, I'm curious to see how well it will do and if it will manage to create the project for us. And I think the way also to do is to include in this maybe a test phase at the end so it can test and fix itself the problems. But we're going to see if uh, this uh, will create first a usable uh, Astro website. And then in case it is not able to do so, I will just uh, ask it to fix the errors in there and see how well it does. So right now it's working in creating everything for us. And you see it started creating the footer, it created the header. And let's go and see at the end what he is able to create. So this model is quite fast and it look it is going and creating the details for us. We are going to check the files that have been modified. In here you will have all the details. It added animations and things like that. So I will let him uh, finish the details and at the end I will just go and see what he was able to create for us. He just finished with everything. He created the details with what he did in here. He didn't have any errors and this took 10 minutes to finish. And this is the structure you see in here. So it created uh, some components. It created a footer with everything. He decided to not put in the layout the header and footer. He imported everything into the every page. And right now, what I will do, I will go and see if this is working. So npm run dev. And I'm curious to see what he did and if this is working. And uh, he was able to implement Sailor CSS for details quite good because of that skill. He didn't try to create a configuration file as uh, it would have in case the skill wasn't there because it has all the data. And let's go and see. So you see in here that the website is fully functional. It added images. It created a logo for us. It created quite nice hero with these details. Then you have the services with it, which has quite a good animation in here. And it has a nice feel. I've seen other models doing a poor job than this one. and. Destral 2 with these skills, it's pretty powerful from my point of view. Okay, this is the project and in here we have a subtle animation. And yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty nice from my point of view. It managed to create a quite decent layout. And if we're going to check, for instance, the about page, Again, it created a pretty good. <laughs> it also added images, and yeah, I'm uh, impressed with what Mistral did with this, with this Destral too. Let's go to check the services. So nice animations in here. Oh, this would need to be smoother, I guess. But I am interested to see the layout, and the layout, the layout is quite good. Footer again is looking nice. Okay, so this is the services, the contact. Okay, contact again is looks nice, good. Okay, get a code. Let's see. So it added the mobile navbar in here and the design on mobile looks quite good. So yeah, I mean, from my point of view, 
it did a pretty good job in creating an uh, UI if you think the fact that this is not the most powerful model on the planet and it really understood the details and uh, it uh, just went and created everything for us and it didn't fail at anything. The structure with the Astro it could have been better from my point of view because it could have included into the layout the details for the header and footer. Again, for this hero section and project, it could have used front matters, not embed everything into the code. And uh, yeah, I mean, SVGs could have been better, but this is not the most powerful model out there. And uh, it did a pretty good job with the help of these skills. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with what uh, Mistral managed to do with this project and I'm gonna use it more because this month it's free and I want to see exactly how well it will uh, do and if it will be able to create something uh, good and if uh, it's able to replace the other models out there and uh, I'm just curious to see how this will do without the skills so let me pause this and ask him to create the same thing without uh, skills. So to see how the skills plays a role into this. So he has finished running the project without any skills. So basically told it to do the same thing, but without specifying the skills that he needs to use in the beginning. And he went and created the plan, which looks similar to what it was before it created a similar structure. And it created everything, but the thing is that at the end it had some errors because it didn't format it, the components properly with Astro front matters and things like that. But the good part is that right now he also tried by itself to run the project with npm run dev and it sees all these errors and uh, fix them at the end. And uh, with like a working project right now. And this took again about 10 minutes to finish. And this is what he did without the skills. So right now you have this without the proper skills, front-end, Astro, and Tailwind CSS. For, and you see that it created a more basic project than before. About, again, it's very basic. Services is not even working. Contact, again, is not even working. Okay, at least the mobile is here, but it's not working. So you see that uh, skills plays a big role in uh, working with AI, especially if they don't have the knowledge to work with mentation you have. And I think it's better than MCP tools because it doesn't add a lot of blood like MCP tool does. And uh, basically what they are doing is just loading the prompt you put in that skill and it loads it into the context of the model and he will be aware of uh, the things that are in that skill. So yeah, this is the DevStral 2 and this is how it's working. I hope this video helped you understand how DevStral is working and how you can make it better with the help of skills. So you can use these skills in cloud code, you can use the skills in um, factory AI like I did and I guess you can just uh, cut like a skill folder in your project and just tell it to use the prompt from there if in case your CLI tool doesn't have the necessary skill thing in there and in case you want more videos about AI and things like that you can check my channel and if you like what you have seen please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching